Hello and welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. We have an update today on a small part, but important part park because I feel like all parks are just as important as one of another in terms of the situation. So a lot of smaller parks have been have announced reopen dates, especially on the East Coast. And um, a lot of parks in Europe have announced reopening dates, which I have a video on <laughs> Thursday, so subscribe for that. And but right now Holiday World has announced a June 14th reopening date and with virtual queuing, which again, it seems like all the parks are doing that will probably be implementing a virtual queue system to implement social distancing. They did announce an advanced reservation system like a whole bunch of other the major chains did. Here's some of the news release from from Santa Claus, Indiana, which I think it's fantastic. The the, the the city is themed, the the whole area is themed to holiday. It's fantastic. Um, so Holiday World will be open June 14th, and uh, they didn't mention. Um, let's see. I, I think I'm assuming Splash and Safari, which is their water park, is also going to reopen too, um, June 15th, because it said Accesso Technology Group announced. A new agreement with Holiday World, and Holiday World and Splash and Safari that will include the theme park's first ever use of Accesso's virtual queuing technology. So, I assume the water park will be open too because it's getting towards summertime. Um, I don't. I guess they'll use the same virtual queuing system, or virtual queuing and tape for uh, six feet apart for social distancing for the water park as well. But yes, it's going to be open. June 14th with virtual queuing, Steve Brown, the Accesso, the virtual queuing technology CEO, said, Our decades of virtual queuing innovation and the relationships we have built with theme parks and attractions around the, around the globe provides Accesso with a unique opportunity to help holiday worlds and the broader leisure industry welcome loyal visitors back again. And they go on to say the health and safety is, um, I guess it's top priority. And then they go um, along in the last paragraph, to say how the virtual queuing works, which is you select a ride or attraction on the, mo on the mobile device, of course, and then you'll be placed in the line, and then the countdown will begin. And then when it's your turn to ride, you'll be notified to proceed to the attraction. <laughs> and then the park tents will do a contactless scan of the QR code on the guest smartphone to redeem the ride reservation, which is actually kind of interesting. So this says on the guest smartphone. Meaning, do you have to have, for this type of virtual queuing system, do you have to have a smartphone? Um, I'm sure they have, every theme park nowadays seems to have some kind of fast pass system, but only Disneyland, as far as I know, has fast pass machines. In Universal, you have to buy the express pass during the day and just use that. Hmm. So it's exciting to buy the flash pass, you have to use that. With Disney, Rise of the Resistance, you're able to get a, a, a thing for the virtual queue, a place in your virtual queue without using a smartphone by using one of the existing fast pass machines in Tomorrowland or Splash Mountain, which you obviously can still do when the park reopens. But these places don't have those types of machines, so do you have to use a smartphone? And if for some reason none of the family owns a smartphone, then what do they do? Are they not allowed in the park? How does that work? Um, because they have to, this one, you have to scan the QR code of the guest smartphone. It doesn't seem like there's paper tickets allowed. I don't know the demographics of the park. I know that probably 90% of the people that attend the theme park, at least one of them, in the group has a smartphone. But, that's a very interesting thing. I wonder, I wonder comment your thoughts below, guys. What do you guys think? Um, do you think, again, they won't be allowed to just write anything? Um, do you think it won't be a problem because like again what at least, at least one person like i said even my 79 year old grandpa has an iphone so do you think it just won't be a problem and i'm curious because now that i think about disneyland's like the only one uh, uh disneyland resort is the only theme park i know that you can use a paper ticket instead of a smartphone for your virtual queue if you for some reason don't have a smartphone um, that's very interesting, but yes, it's nice to see that Hollywood World is opening up in June. Um, smaller other regional parks are opening up. Fun Spot, I think, fun some attractions in Orlando, like small parks like Fun Spot and Kiss Me in Orlando are reopening. And again, 
theme parks in Europe are reopening with limited social distancing. So it's awesome to see things um, reopening and guests getting back to normal. Keep on, stay safe out there because the virus is still a thing. Um, please wear your mask when you're at these places. Um, and except eating, of course. But it's nice to be able to kind of get to a, a sense of normalcy in the area. Um, also, City Walk, Universal City Walk, side note, I wrote a whole blog on, a whole article on this on my blog, themeparkwizard.net. But today, uh, City Walk announced, Universal City Walk Orlando announced that on Thursday, which is May, 4, May 14th, um, dining, dining and select locations, retail locations, will be open and be the mall. So that is good to so note, and of course, they beat Disney by six days at Disney Springs. Any uh, just third party areas, not no Disney stores, but I mean, only third party stores will reopen June or May 20th. So that is fantastic. Subscribe for more theme park updates. I hope you guys are staying safe. No. My merch line is you can link it, the link is down below if you like to check out some get some theme park wizard merch or some masks. No. The masks, all masks are currently in production right now. We can still pre pre order them on my website. And just note that if you do, it will take a couple weeks for them to come because they're still making them. I, I don't, don't even have them yet, but you can definitely pre-order the masks at my website, which is linked below. Everyone, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for the 650 subscribers that I just received for filming this video. And um, I'm excited to share more daily updates. Stay tuned for my live stream tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time. As always, have a fan. Cosmic Day.